Hey guys, so welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. A tutorial that a lot of you guys have requested is on multiband processing inside of Studio One Pro. You might not know this, but any plugin, be it a native plugin that's integrated inside of Studio One or VST2 plugin, VST3, audio unit, you name it, can all be turned into multiband, parallel, stereo, or even mid-side plugins inside of Studio One Pro. That's a unique feature and this is all achieved with the fabulous splitter plugin. Now that I already covered in a separate tutorial that you find right here, but today we want to focus on the multiband side chaining application specifically because that seems to be quite relevant to electronic music producers out there. So in my example right here, I have an 808, like this famous baseline that you know from hip hop and techno and trap and all of these kind of music genres. It sounds like this, it's nice, dark, with a lot of low end and distortion. And I combined that with a bit of a beat. That's a nice dark vibe to it, just the way I like it. And what I would like to do now is to separate the frequency spectrum of the 808 and the kick a little bit better. Because when I play them together, you might notice that both try to dominate that low frequency space very much. It doesn't sound harmonious to me, like they both try to be the front runner, they both try to be in focus at the same time, and there's just not enough headroom to facilitate that. And this thought process that I just demonstrated is something that I really like to do in all of my mixings and masterings. Before I apply any plugins, I first want to assess and understand what the actual problem is. Can I paraphrase what the problem is? And if so, then I can think about applying plugins. But in this case, I can. The low frequencies are of two instruments are fighting each other and I want to solve this and then I can move on to the solution which in my case is probably sidechain compression. If you're not familiar with the term sidechain compression, I have already covered that in more detail in an entire video that's linked right here. But basically, I want to apply a compressor on the 808. And what should happen is that the compressor is not reducing the onset of the 808 itself like it usually would, but instead listens to another instrument that's coming in from the sidechain, hence the name. In this case, that would be the kick drum. So every time the kick kick drum comes in, the 808 would reduce in volume and when the kick drum stops, then the 808 would regain full amplitude again and have full dominance in the mix. I hope that makes sense. So here in my case, I have the compressor applied on the 808 and right now it's ducking itself down, which doesn't really achieve anything here. Also because there's almost no transients here on this 808. So it's basically just like a huge gain trim, as you can see. This yellow line that's indicating the gain reduction right here is barely moving. So all I achieve is just a little bit of a trim, which is not what I want to do. Instead, what I do want to do is click on this sources arrow right here and then tick the send checkbox for the kick. This will activate the sidechain right here. And now this reduction that you saw with the yellow line inside the compressor will only happen when the kick drum is playing as well. You can hear that already very clearly, this characteristic pumping. And notice how that yellow gain reduction line is only active when the kick is soloed. When I mute the kick, the gain reduction stops as well. Now, I really like this effect, but it's actually a bit much, right? The pumping is really cool. I like the groove of it, but it shouldn't affect the mid and high frequencies as much as it does right now. See, I only want to tame the 808 in the low frequency where it contests the kick drum, but I want to keep that harmonic dominance of it. And this is exactly why we should use multiband side shining instead. And this is achieved for this plugin and any other plugin with the splitter that you find here in the effects section of Studio One Pro's browser. You just select that and then you drag and drop that to the channel where you want to add any multi-processing. It could be multi-band frequency processing, it could be parallel processing where you just have a dry and a wet signal that you mix together. It could also be left-right stereo processing or even mid-side processing. But in my case, I want to do multi-band side chaining and that can be achieved by inserting it right before the compressor, like so, on the AOA channel. And this introduces 
two lanes. Actually, I can split this up to five times and then I get five different lanes. That doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but it will in just a second, I promise. So let's take a look at the frequency split. This is the frequency split option. And if I have two splits, then this means that any plugins that I would insert on the left lane here would only process within that set frequency range. So like, let's say I have 400 hertz set here, then 20 to 400 hertz would be processed by this split and everything above 400 hertz would be processed by this split. So if I put my compressor here onto the left split, that means that this compressor will only sidechain 400 hertz and below. While when I would put it here, then it would be 400 hertz and above. And I can do the split up to five times, like I said. And then I can also say, okay, uh, zero to 400 would be here right? And 400 to 719 would be here. This is very similar to how a multiband compressor would do it, but you can do this with any plugin. This could also be a distortion plugin and that makes the splitter so powerful. In my case, two splits is probably enough because I just want to sidechain the lows of the 808, but not the mids and the highs. So I just need a two-way split. And then I would probably set the frequency split to occur somewhere around 200 Hertz or so. Okay. And now let me show you the difference. So with the compressor, without the splitter, the 808 is just losing a lot of its dominance in the mid and high frequencies. Whereas when I put the compressor here to just process 200 Hertz and below, Now the kick is still coming through, but the 808 remains the dominant instrument. I hope you can hear that. What's really nice is that I can now also balance the volumes here. And this is exactly what I wanted. The side chain is pushing away the low frequencies that contested the kick drum beautifully. And it's still the most dominant instrument in the mid frequencies, which is exactly what I hope to achieve. Hopefully I was able to demonstrate to you how easy it is to do multiband processing and multiband side chaining inside of Studio One Pro. Try it out today, have fun, and thank you so much for watching.